Many books have been written on Philo-Judeus, but none of these books, for some strange reason, have ever mentioned the threefold image of the one subject that was taught by Philo of Alexandria. Philo was a first century Jewish Greek philosopher who was born in BC but died in 50 AD in Alexandria. Philo Judeus, widely known. Philo Judeus' works reveal who Philo was and what he really believed. He applied a philosophical and allegorical method to the interpretation of the Jewish scriptures or the Old Testament. Philo Judeus taught many things about the divine company and about how he had a mystical experience in which he was meditating. And while he was meditating, he got this strange revelation that God was never alone, but with him were two powers by his sides. These he later he would call persons. He would call the, the one in the middle is the father of the universe, who in the sacred scriptures is called by his proper name, I am that I am. And the beings on each side are those most ancient powers which are always close to the living God. I wrote the book Philo's Trinity to expose the connection between Philo Judeus and the Apostolic and Anti Nicene Fathers of the 2nd and 3rd and 4th century. This is why I wrote Philo's Trinity, because there is a direct connection between the teachings of Philo and the Trinity that is believed today by most. Christians. A satanic by the name of Madame Blavatsky wrote many books and she was a founder of the Theosophical Society. In one of her most famous books she wrote how Philo was unmatched for centuries by anyone in esoteric knowledge and she was right. Philo was never a Christian Though he lived in the first century when Jesus Christ walked this earth, uh, Madame Blavatsky reveals how Philo was a esoteric believer, a mystical believer, one that practiced the occult, one that was at the same level as anyone who practices witchcraft or sorcery or mysticism. This was Philo Judeus. One of the best books written was The Life and Times of Jesus the Messiah. And this scholar traces the teaching of the Logos as being the membra of the Old Testament. And he taught that the Logos of Philo of Alexandria could have never been the membra because it was closely related to Metatron or the occultic logos. Another great book that I used in my research was Philo in Early Christian Literature. And here I found that most of the Catholic uh, theologians of the second and third century, they believed in Philo so much, they even taught that he was a Christian and a bishop. But later on they had to cover their tracks when people made note that Philo was never a Christian.